In today's video, I have five teen group games that are actually fun. If we are meeting for the first time, hi, my name is Sean. Welcome on this channel. I'm bringing back family fun one game at a time. And yes, these games are tried and true, tested by teens that they actually love and enjoy. So if you're planning a teen get together, this video you'll want to watch. If you have a game idea that I haven't mentioned in this video that your teen actually absolutely loves hand downs, I'd love for you to share that with this community by posting about it in the comment section down below of this video so that the collective brain of the community can benefit and also play your awesome idea. The first game is called Flower in a Sock tag. <laughs> it really needs a catchier title, but basically you put some baking flour in socks. Every teen gets one. The more players you have, the better, and you play tag with it. It works even better too if everybody is wearing a black shirt so that when they get tagged with that sock that has the flower in it, it leaves a bright white flower mark on the black shirts. I will leave the rules to a simple game of tag in the description box down below of this video. This game is best played outdoors <laughs> because it's going to get messy. The next game is a Frisbee knockoff game. I found the basic supplies for this game on Amazon. I'll link in the description box down below. This game is best played in a gym or outside. You can play with two players or teams of players. So to play this game, you'll need the Amazon kit that I'm suggesting, as well as two bottles of water. You can have a competition between just two people or a competition between two teams of people. The object of the game is to guard your water bottle and prevent the other team from knocking it off with a Frisbee. Players can pass the Frisbee back and forth to each other and toss it at the water bottle in an attempt to knock off the water bottle from the stand. Team members try and and guard their water bottle as well. You can play this with a closed water bottle or for a little more messy fun outdoors, go ahead and open up that water bottle and as it's knocked down, somebody's gonna get wet. Also, let me know in the comment section, what other fun objects would you place on these stands? What else would be fun to hit with a Frisbee? I know you all are creative and you probably have some fun ideas because I would love to try playing this game with maybe some messier objects or some funnier objects on top of the stand, so let me know. The third game idea I have for you is called the Pancake Flop. Previously in another video, I'll link it down below, my husband and I shared this game with you all and just could not stop laughing. <laughs> you basically throw pancakes at each other's face and attempt to get that pancake onto a plate. You can play this game with a minimum of two players, but divide players up into pairs, teams of two. Give them a giant plate of pancakes and an empty plate. They will sit across from each other and toss the pancakes at the person's face. And that person is responsible for making sure the pancake then falls from their face into the plate. You could set a timer to play this game or just play until everybody runs out of pancakes. But whoever has the most pancakes successfully on their paper plate by the end of the game wins. And if you have more than team, more than one team that has the exact same number of pancakes, then you could do another round as an elimination round. I also found that the best pancakes to do this with are the frozen ones that you can microwave up really fast before the game. The fourth game idea is called Sardines. Let me know if you played this game before. I grew up with this game. You're going to need a very large building to play this game. <laughs> The only supplies that you will need for this game is a flashlight for the police. We used to call them the police, uh, but it's the person who is finding all of the teenagers. Basically, this is a game of hide and seek, but everybody hides together. We like to have people disperse in sections depending on how many people we had playing. So you would say, okay, three people go, you hide somewhere in the, in the, we played it in the church, in the church, and then you wait five minutes and then you send another three other three people out. You guys go hide until, you know, everybody is hidden. And then we would, somebody would sound a horn and everybody would have to find one person 
together and everybody has to pack in like sardines. So if one person is hiding in a closet, you could potentially have 20 people trying to hide in a closet. Now, is this a good social distancing game? This is not a social distancing game. Then you have a group of people or one person who is the police with the flashlight and they have to find. If they find you before you are in your sardine group where you're all together, then you are eliminated. And if all the teens get into one sardine area, if they're all in the same area at the same time before the police find them, then they are the winners. Okay, sorry about that. My camera died, so I had to switch to another camera, and it's a completely different camera and mic. Um, if you are enjoying the content of this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. I make games content for in-person and Zoom twice a week on this channel. All right, the last game is called Color Wars. Woo! Okay, you're going to need this cool powder right here from Amazon. You're going to need some cornstarch. You're going to need some cups. You're going to need some buckets. And you're going to play this game outside because it is going to get messy and colorful. Every player needs to wear a white t-shirt because things are going to get colorful. Things are, things are going to happen with this color wars. And you can play any, you can play tag with this game, but it's a lot of fun. Just divide your players into teams, into two teams, three teams, four teams and assign every team their own color powder. Put it in buckets, put it in the center of your playing area, and just have players at it. Have them toss with the cups, toss this colored powder on each other until all the powder is gone. Whoever's covered with powder, they're eliminated, and determine a winner. We just like to throw cups of colored powder at each other, and the teens thought it was fantastic. But um, let me know, how have you played Color Wars before? What kind of rules did you use? Did you play a tag version? Did you play a minute to win it version of it? Let me know in the comment section down below. All right, this camera's getting ready to die as well. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, bye.